Hello friends, I'm Karina Chin with KarinaStamps.com and I want to welcome you today to my YouTube and my Facebook Live. I'm just going to check and make sure it's working. It said the stream key wasn't wasn't working, so you know, technical difficulties. Okay, I see I'm on both streams right now. Okay, we'll see how this works today. I'll try my best for you. So welcome. I'm Karina Chin. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, and I like to go on Tuesdays at one o'clock to share some kind of card making, sometimes a special box uh, with you so that you can actually use your supplies and uh, do some fun stamping as well. So before I start, in case you live in Canada and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you wanted to order, you can go to karinachin.stampinup.net and this is the current hostess code MCSB4P9C. And I always mention that at first because sometimes once you start watching the video, it's like, well, she was good, but how do we order from her? So I always like to mention that as well. So thank you for joining me today. And there is lots going on in the Stampin' Up! world. I am personally doing kind of an all week special where every day I'm going on and featuring one product and I'm giving a really good discount on it. So today is the 18th and I am featuring the green glue. So anybody can order the green glue for $5. You have to live in Canada and um, it's porch pickup or to ship it. There might be a small shipping charge. I'm not sure how much it would be depending on what green glue you order, but I am offering the price of $5. Uh, five dollars for it because it's 750 did anybody else know up that know that it went up that much i was shocked i need to replace my green glue obviously yesterday we had stamping blends that were on special um i was giving them away for ten dollars a set so that was kind of fun and then tomorrow stampin up has a huge sale that's starting on all stamp sets in the annual catalog which i can't even find the annual catalog right now i'll show you in a minute it's going to be 15 percent off now that's super exciting so it's everything in the annual catalog except the hostess stamp sets we only have two hostess stamp sets so i think that's great now, if you happen to have a starter kit or a demo number where you're saving 20% 20, 20 off to 25% off, that's another 15% off on top of that. So that is super exciting. And that starts tomorrow. And from experience, I know that some stamp sets sell out. So if you have any favorites, make sure you get them early. So I'm going to show you one of my favorites that I've been working with today. It's called the Time Together um, Stamp Set and Dies but i'm gonna do my box this is a last minute change based on trucking along so stampin up came out with online exclusives that are available while supplies last so this was available last week it's sold out within a day it's actually a stamp set and a punch but you can still get the stamp set today now the punch is back ordered i believe till October sometime but you could still get the stamp set and I'll show you how to make a super cute project with the stamp set now if you're ordering through me and you are placing a minimum $50 order I'm actually going to give my stamp set and my punch away so this is going to be a draw um this will be a draw I just thought it would be super fun uh which will probably be on Saturday and then tonight if you're part of my my customers regular customers in my karina's creations group that i have i'm going to be doing a draw we're doing a birthday extravaganza and i'm giving away 120 prizes so that's going to be super fun and that'll be at seven o'clock tonight now the other thing i was going to mention is whenever right now you're placing an order with stampin up you're spending 60 dollars you get a six dollar coupon that you can use in august and August is exciting because if you have a starter kit number, you can actually pre-order from the new mini catalog. Customers can start ordering on September, in September, which is still fun, and you still get your $6 coupon. So that's pretty exciting. And I think that's all I was going to announce. Let's see if anybody found me. I'm a little worried that the stream's not working. Oh, Kathy found me and Joy and Natalie. Hooray. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know if you guys didn't watch me what I would do because I would never know if this is working. And YouTube, there is, I don't, oh, there's four viewers, it says. Okay, if you are watching, put a comment in the chat so I know it's working. Usually Margaret Ann joins in. 
And then my friend all and my friend Anne always watches from New Brunswick. So a huge thank you to Anne for always watching as well. She always comments. I think she said she watches me after she makes dinner. So what is it? A three and a half hour time difference from Alberta. Canada is such a large country, right? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to quit chatting. I'm going to go down to my desktop because you probably want to see what I'm making, right? Okay. So this is what I'm going to do now. First of all, I just really want to show you this cool stamp set. So this one is called Time Together. And I had a bookmark. Let's see. Yeah. Time Together. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is tomorrow it's going to be 15% off. And I think it's super cool. We haven't had a stamp set like this before that I'm aware of. I could be mistaken, but... Uh, it looks like this, and it's going to be perfect for wedding cards, anniversary cards, and birthday cards. So it says, I miss you every minute of every hour. I love you till the end of time. Time to celebrate. Happy birthday. XOXO. You could even do Valentine's with it. And time has a wonderful way of showing us what really matters. And it's got these super cool dies, coordinating dies. So, of course, tomorrow you're not going to order this as a bundle. It might be cheaper to order the stamp set separately and the dies. You'd probably save a bit more. And then this is the card in the box that I'm going to show you how to make today. I had to tear it apart so I could get my instructions again. But that's going to be what we're using. But I just wanted to show you these really fun cards that you can make with it. Okay, the first one I wanted to show you is this one. Time to celebrate. Time is a wonderful way of showing us what really matters. And to me, that's friends. I think friends and family is the best. So to me, that that is what's important. But isn't that fun? I've got a video on this. If anybody's watching my videos, all my videos right now are being saved under the live tab. So if you go to my YouTube channel, click live, you'll see all my videos. I don't know why they're not in the video section. I guess because it's alive. And then check out this one. I love you till the end of time. XOXO. Right? How fun is that? You can write a little message. Put a little gift card in here. Right? Cute little belly band. So that was another card done with that. And then I also have this one. I think this one's my favorite. Happy birthday. Time to celebrate. Right? Just super cute. Simple. With the tags. I forget what the tags are called and then this one I did didn't I do this I think on easy stamping one two three so easy stamping one two three will be Wednesday night at 7 30 I have a fun design for you I roll a dice I spin a wheel to figure out what stamps paper and ink I have to use it's kind of fun but didn't that turn out cute I was very happy with that and then my video last week I showed you how to use the decorative masks and the stamp set because they're super fun. I think it's a hidden gem in the catalog. And then, of course, the shaker card. I just copied this right from the annual catalog. See, here it is. I just changed my colors. I used Balmy Blue. Stampin' Up! used. It's either Pool Party or Coastal Cabana. Do we still have Coastal Cabana? I don't know. Stampin' Up! changed the colors on me. And I. it's going to take me years to learn how to where the colors are very confusing and then I had this little sheet made up as well to show you these are what the dies look like for the time together time together dies because I thought they were super fun as well okay so now that I've showed you that really quick I want to show you how to make this really fun card in the box but we're going to use trucking along so I am going to use I'm not going to use this stamp set because this is going to be what somebody is going to get as a thank you gift. So I ordered myself the French one because it was available, which I'll give away <laughs> once my English one comes in. I ordered it last night. And then this is the punch. So this punch is on back order, unfortunately, until October. And I had a feeling that was going to happen. So I ordered myself one as well as one for the draw. But I wanted to play with this because it's super cute. So let's just look at the English one for a second. So every day is a fresh start, special delivery, farm fresh, wishing you a festive Christmas, sending you sun sunny thoughts. 
Now my tip is if you like this, don't wait till tomorrow when the sale is on, order it today. It could sell out at any time because if you live in Canada or the US, you can order it. So I think that's why there's such a demand for this. And it's just fun. It's just so fun. I've seen some really fun things done with it. Okay, so to make a card in a box, I've got my little template here. I actually have a whole book of fun little templates. And I'll try to do PDF instructions that I'll put on my Karina Stamps blog for you guys that you can download. This is what the template looks like. And these are the measurements. So let's see if I can figure this out. Now, the first thing you need to do is go and get yourself some 12 by 12 paper because this box design is 11, seven inches by 11 and a half inches. So I've already cut that down. Now, if you're wondering where all the 12 by 12 paper is, I'm going to show you in the catalog because it's kind of hidden. It's not here with all the paper and the colors. It is in here. Now, if I'm a customer, I wouldn't even look at this section. Where's the pictures? Where's the paper? I don't read words. Maybe you guys do, but I don't. Anyway, so 12 by 12 paper is here. And you can get it in a Brights collection. So you get 20 sheets, two of each. It comes in Brights, Neutrals, Regals, and Subtles. And if you're wondering what that means, here's the picture. Regals, Neutral, Subtles, Brights, and then in color as well. Um, if you get the in color collection in 12 by 12, which is down here, uh, you get four sheets in four sheets each in five colors. This one you get two sheets each in two two sheets each in ten colors. So that's where you need to go to get that. Or uh, you can also get white 12 by 12, and that is on you know why would they put it on the same page? I don't know. Wouldn't that be easy? I think that'd be too easy. <laughs> as I'm laughing. Huh. I feel your pain sometimes when I go to order stuff. See, I can't even find it right now. Trust me, there is 12 by 12 Whisper White uh, basic white cardstock somewhere in the catalog and someone will someone will post it. I'm just checking quick. Uh, white centered. <laughs> I just have to laugh. I don't know. I'll find it later. It wasn't on this page. I don't know. I will post it later if you are interested in the 12 by 12. I just ordered some recently. Okay, the other thing I'm focusing or featuring is this paper pack, Delightfully Eclectic. I think it's super fun. And uh, you get a lot of sheets, so you may need to split it with a girlfriend. But I thought this kind of looked like fun truck paper, right? It's got daisies on one side, but that's okay. Okay, so let's set these pieces aside. And let's get cutting our box, card box, because that's why you're watching today. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to start on the long side. Let's just move this out of the way so I got some space. And like I said, seven inches by 11 and a half. We're going to score it at half an inch, three and a half, four and a half, seven and a half, and eight and a half on the long side. Okay, so I'm going to score it again at half an inch. Three and a half. And I hope I don't goof it up. Three and a half, four and a half. Seven and a half. And eight and a half. See, that's pretty easy. And then we're going to turn it. <laughs> I want to see if there's makes a difference which way I turn it. I don't think so. Ha ha, there's my template. I think I turned it this way. Yeah, I'll keep doing it the same way. So it matches. And then we're going to turn it. What did I do? Counterclockwise. And then we're going to score it at half an inch. One and a half and six inches. Don't you love my little notes? Normally I have the PDF tutorial done, but it was a crazy day today. Okay, so half an inch. One and a half. 
and six inches. And the nice thing is about videos is you can actually stop the video, pause the video, rewatch the video, and I go and watch my videos again. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and please share with your friends. Hit the notification bell. Um, I'm always trying to meet new people who love to learn stamping things. <laughs> okay. We got to flip it around this way to match my template just so I can follow along. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is let's take a look at what we got here. So this is going to be the top of the box. Okay, this is the bottom of the box. This is the top of the box. So how you know the difference is that you have this extra half an inch flap. That's going to be your top. So with the bottom, let's just start with the bottom. We're going to cut on these four lines. So one, two, three, four. And then this triangle here at the corner, this right hand triangle, see these little dashes? That means we don't need them. We can just get rid of them. So step one, let's get rid of this triangle. Triangle. Let's get rid of this rectangle. Oh my goodness, I'm math challenged today. Okay, we got rid of the rectangle. I'm just going to laugh at myself, you guys. It's going to be one of these days, I think. Okay, so what I like to do is just, first of all, snip at the bottom. Then if you want to get fancy, you can miter the corners, which just helps your box fold in a little nicer. Totally optional, though. You don't have to. If you're making a template, you don't really need to do that. But it does, it does make your box fold in a little bit better. Okay, let's do that. Da -da -da, and I uh, and do that one too. Okay, so that is the bottom of the box. And this says cut away. So we don't even need this rectangle. So let's get rid of this one. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We cut this rectangle away and this little one on the right hand side. So the right hand and the left hand side. And then this is our middle of our box. Now, I'm looking at my directions and these two rectangles up here we don't need those either so let's just get rid of those i sure hope my instructions are right otherwise i'm doing it again okay so this is what we have now now it looks to me like we need to snip in these four places and it looks like this whole rectangle gets cut away as well so we are cutting to not the first score line, but the second score line, right? We're making our tabs for our box. Okay, and then it says that we don't need this. Do I believe myself? I hope so. If not, it's paper, just cardstock. So I'll just cut another one. And then this will be my template and I'll just glue it all back together or tape it all together. That's what I love about paper crafting. It's not that expensive if you make a boo-boo. You just go do it again. Okay, so this is my template. Everybody with me? Hopefully. Oh, and then I noticed from this we need to make tabs. So can you see here I kind of cut in the middle. So here's my score line. I made shorter little tabs. So let's just get rid of this. I cut it in half, but I want it a little bit longer. I'm not cutting it in half this time. I'm leaving my tabs a little bit longer. Okay, I think we're finally ready. So let's see how this is going to fold up. Um, so get your bone folder out. How is it possible that I have like 20 bone folders and I've lost them all again? It's a very interesting question. I have a nice one that says Karina on it, but it's totally missing. Maybe Otto took it, right? Otto is my mini schnauzer puppy. I just gave him treats and food to bribe him while I do this video. So hopefully he'll behave himself. Little Otto. Okay, so let's see how this is going to work. So it's going to go like this. Remember I said this is the top. So it is going to glue on like this. And then this is going to be your card. So box, card. 
So first of all, let's just fold this tab over and I'm going to add some tear and tape adhesive. I am featuring green glue and you can use green glue, but for this, I really like using the tear and tape adhesive because I have to hold this shut while this glues. And I really wanted this to be kind of a short video for you. Now, you'll notice that it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, so you have to kind of line it up like this. I'm just going to tack it down. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's try there we go again. And... Okay, there's my box. Isn't that cool? Let's just press that a little bit. You can use your Simply Scored tool if you want to make them make all the measurements perfect, but I'm okay with this. Okay, let's fold in the bottom. So I'm just going to fold in the two tabs, fold the bottom one in, and then fold the top. And again, you can use liquid glue. You can use your stamp and seal. I like to use my tear and tape adhesive because I don't think I'll be ripping this box apart because I now have a template. So let's just put two pieces on here, like so. And you'll see why this is such a fun box right away. Okay, it's done. Then you can fold in your two tabs. And that is it. Ta-da! Okay, can you see how this isn't going in very well? Well, let's just miter that corner. Okay, let's try that again. Ta-da! Right? Isn't that easy? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then what I'm going to do is decorate this because I think it uh, could look super cute if we add a little bit of designer series paper. And I'm going to put the designer series paper on the inside. That's going to be my inside. And my outside, I just did basic white because I want to do my truck. I want to feature my little truck because it's just way too cute. Okay, so let's set this aside. Now, what do I have for sentiments? So this um, white piece or the designer series paper piece is 2 and 7 eighths by 4 and 3 eighths. Now, if you don't like that, you could make it 2 and 3 quarters by what? 4 and a quarter, I think. You don't have to use those weird eighths measurements. It's up to you. And before I tell you the wrong measurements, let me just double check. Yeah, so it would be two and three quarters by four and a quarter. An eighth just makes it a little bit bigger. So this is my inside. This is my outside. Let's do a little decorating and let's take a look at this truck stamp set. So I want a little truck here. And I've got it like this. Now, I thought I had a piece of basic white cardstock that I could easily crunch out. Not really. Maybe I cut it up. Will this fit? Yes, it will. Okay, so by having the stamp set, you can do a whole bunch of really, really fun. And I just want to be able to punch them out. We've got some little trees, we've got some presents, we've got some leaves, we've got flowers. So it's perfect for all year round. It's got wishing you a festive Christmas, sunny thoughts, special delivery, delivery, farm fresh, and every day is a fresh start. Right? Super cute. And you should just see all the cute things people are making with this. Now, I already did one. Can you see the image here was not very good. Whenever you get photopolymer stamps, you should give them a little scrub. So let's go scrub, scrub, scrub. Because there's almost like a coating, an oily coating on it. And especially for a solid image, I didn't think it stamped that well. And I didn't like my garden green. I did not like that at all. So this was, I think, a failure. But I really liked the boho blue. So let's stamp boho blue. And if you don't want, if you don't have a lot of ink pads, what you do is you grab a wink of Stella pen and ink refills, or you can color it with stamping blends. 
There's so many different ways that you can do this. I notice it's kind of eating off again. Maybe it's my ink pad. Okay, let's see. Line this up. And you'll notice on here that it has a little bit of white, like accent, um, accent on the fender. It's supposed to be like that. I probably could have pulled it up a smidge. And then the ink is dark, but it dries a lot lighter. Okay, and then there is an image for the tires. So let's do the tires in black. Uh, maybe I should do it the right way. Okay, let's try that again. See, it's pooling off because I didn't clean it very well. That's okay. You guys get the idea. Okay, there we go. We got the wheel, and then I can punch it out. I think I like this image better. So let's use this one. I did a better job. Now, if you don't have a punch, what would you do? Well, you would just grab your paper snips and fussy cut it out, right? Easy peasy. If you have the punch, great. If you don't have the punch, no worries. So I'm going to put that there. And I think I want blue sky. Oh, mine just supposed to be Christmas. Do I? Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of blue sky. So I want some little party ink for my blue sky. I'll just do a tiny little bit, not very much. I always do any of my skies I use pool party. I don't know why that is. And let's just pull this out. I need some more grid paper. Oh yeah, look at my poor grid paper is getting quite messy. Okay, let's just add a bit. So when you're using your blend, when you're using your brushes, you pick up a little bit of ink, tap it off on the side, and then you can blend it in. I didn't do a very good job. I think I re-inked this recently. It's pretty dark. But you know, a sky is not a solid blue, so I think this will be good enough. Okay, there we go. I'll put my brush back. This would make a great gift for somebody. Actually, some nice little blending brush. Okay, so let's put this down because I want my designer series paper to coordinate. There we go. Cute. I'll put this down here. Okay, I'm going to punch out. Oh, I already punched out my little truck. Now, should we put presents in the truck? I think we probably could. Let me just see. I need some kind of a sentiment going like that. And I think, should I use this brand new ribbon? Have you guys seen this? This is like another online exclusive. Oh my gosh, that ribbon is so cute. I don't think I like the ribbon on there, though. Maybe I'll just tuck it in here. I don't know. I can't decide. Okay, the truck's going here. Trucks go in there, so let's stamp some presents. I've already got them on here. So I'll get my black ink. Okay, let's just go like this. Then I'll put the truck like that by the presents. And then check it out. We also have a stamp to fill in the presents. Should I do red, green? No, I'm going to do pink. I'm going to do petal pink. You can have pink Christmas presents, can't you? Sure, why not? Okay, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is just cover these in quickly with the stamp and blend. Ooh, too, too aggressive. Okay, here we go. You know what? Why don't I just use the bullet tip for my stamp and blend? Did you guys know that there's a bullet tip? Okay, I still think that looks really cute. Okay, let's pop up my little truck. And this is the fast version of the truck card. I've seen some pretty detailed cards and stuff with it, but uh, this is supposed to be my quickie video today. Quickie ish video today. See, isn't that cute? And then, because I don't really want to use the brand new stamp set, otherwise I'd put stamp and 
uh, special delivery on here. Check this out. How many people bought cottage wreaths last year? It rolled over. And look, Merry Christmas is right here. So I'm just going to stamp Merry Christmas. I could just stamp it right there. I could stamp it on one of the clouds. Let's look at the little cloud shape. Well, maybe it's too small for the cloud. But I think I'm going to stamp it right here in black. And that will be that. Let's just stamp it like this. And I really want to use this ribbon. I think it is so cute. So cute. Okay, now because this ribbon is kind of weird on the back, I think I have to do like a cheater fold or something like this. Oh yeah, maybe I'll just go like this. This ribbon's so cool. I don't think we've ever had ribbon like this before. Okay, we'll go like this. Go like this. Oh, 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 oh. And then let's just put a little staple in here. Where's my Stampin' Up stapler? Stampin' Up used to sell a stapler many years ago. Does anybody have it? So cute. This has not been available for a very long time. So if someone's wondering where the stapler is to order it, sorry, it's not available. Okay, so I'm going to put Merry Christmas right here. See how cute is this? And I love the Merry Christmas because I think it coordinates really well with this set. And then also, look, Grateful's on here. And Boo! Ooh, does it have punk pumpkins in here? It does not, but I bet you you could draw a couple pumpkins. Okay, so I'm just going to put this here. Merry Christmas. We're going to glue this on the front. And I bet you could even put like a hot chocolate pouch in here. For sure you could put a gift card, some little treats. In my other box I had little treats that someone gave me. Okay, this is going to be my card in a box. Is that not cute? And then you want to write something on the inside. So let's just put this down. I'm just going to put this on the inside and leave it um, blank so that I can put whatever I want later. When I figure out who I'm giving this to, I love this. I hope you guys like it too. But I really like the fact that this set can be used for all seasons. But like I said, you, I highly recommend that you pick up the English stamp set today, even if you can't get the punch right now, because you can easily fussy cut that out. Right, so if you take a look at the pieces, it's the fender, the truck, uh, the wheel, and the window. Yeah, you could easily cut that out. But anyway, I think that is super cute. So this is a card in a box, and this was the other one, based on the Time Together set. Right, but isn't that fun? And there you go, and then I'll figure out who I'm going to give that to after. So if you like this and you cannot get this bundle and you really want it, I am doing a draw on Saturday. Yeah, I'm doing a draw on Saturday. I'll be giving one away. And I have deals going on all week long just because it's super fun. And I love to spoil my friends and my customers and just have lots of fun stamping. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to say today. I'll just check the Facebook thing in case there's any questions. So, Joy, do you love the truck set? Joy, did you get the truck set? Kathy, I, I know you got the truck set. So fun, right? Zoom, zoom, that's funny. <laughs> I don't know, Natalie, did you get one? Yeah, it's hard to know, right? Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching me today. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.